okay guys <clears throat> you know how heart is supplying our body right heart is supplying all the part of body so we should have some concern with the heart also heart also need blood right so heart is supplied by coronary artery so we are studying the blood supply of heart it is having arterial system as well as venous system first of all we will study what the arterial supply of what so blood supply of heart blood supply of our heart this is not our imaginary artery okay so first we will study arterial supply we will study both arterial and venous arterial supply the heart is supplied by a specific artery known as what coronary artery this coronary artery is divided into right coronary artery as well as left coronary artery so we have two division what are they right coronary artery as well as left coronary artery okay so you have to see the difference between both see this is having smaller circulation in its heart this are having larger circulation now we have to see the different branches of both now the branch of main branch is posterior interventricular artery interventricular artery meaning in between the ventricle posterior part of ventricle is supplied by what right coronary artery branch here the branch is anterior interventricular anterior interventricular artery okay so posterior is from right branch and anterior is from left branch okay or you can also call it as left anterior descending artery left anterior descending artery other branches of right coronary artery are nodal artery know the all the essay notes have been nodal artery and the last one is marginal artery now these are not the old branches at least you have to remember these branches here you have left circumflex artery left circumflex artery this there is a specific question for this see this left circumflex artery passes through a the coronary sulcus okay there is a sulcus in our so they pass through the coronary sulcus okay now what are the important things that you have to remember or you have to know see we will, there is a something called dominance of heart we call the heart is right dominant okay right dominant when the posterior interventricular artery comes from the right coronary artery the posterior interventricular branch comes from right coronary artery we call it left dominant when the posterior interventricular sometimes they arise from what left coronary artery so we call it as left dominant so that is posterior interventricular from right coronary artery left dominant from same thing from left coronary artery so who will decide the dominance of heart the posterior interventricular artery so this will decide which is right dominant or left dominant clear now the next important point you have to remember is all the conducting system you should read right the last video we have studied the conducting system of heart whole conducting system of heart is supplied by a right coronary artery okay point is all conducting system conducting system supplied by what right coronary artery but except everything in a medicine except is very important for mcq point of view right bundle branch right bundle branch of bundle of his which is supplied by what left coronary artery so keep in mind next a very important mcq point all conducting system is supplied by what right coronary artery but except rb which is supplied by left coronary artery the next point that you have to remember is we have studied the branch of right coronary artery right right and is sa node sa node is supplied by the nodal artery 
nodal artery. Nodal artery is a branch of what? Nodal artery is a branch of right coronary artery. Just, just we have studied. No, SA node is supplied by what? Nodal artery is a branch of right coronary artery. This is the 70% of cases. In some cases, at least 30% of cases, SA node can get supplied from left coronary artery also. So keep in mind. And dominance of heart is by what? Posterior interventricular artery. So these are all about the arterial supply of heart. Next we will study venous supply of heart. Oh, you know the whole body is getting blood and they are drained. And we have to know the supply of heart. It is supplied by blood. It must be drained also, right? By veins. Okay. So the next one we are going to study the venous supply. Venous supply of heart. Now venous supply, remember, you will remember coronary sinus. Coronary sinus was situated in the, the right atrium. So that is 60%, 60 of blood in heart. Blood in heart is drained by coronary sinus. Remember 60% of blood from the heart is drained by what? Coronary sinus. Now the other 40% that is why anterior cardiac vein. Before that, we have to know what are the tributaries. So what are the branches they are opening to the coronary sinus? So tributaries of tributaries of coronary sinus. You know now what is coronary sinus and where it is located. Okay. Tributaries of coronary sinus include small cardiac vein. Small cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, great cardiac vein, small cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, and great. These are all what they are draining the blood from heart to the coronary sinus. We have two more that is oblique vein of left atrium. oblique vein of left atrium and oblique vein of left ventricle oblique vein of left ventricle so these are the tributaries or the branches they are opening toward the coronary sinus okay oblique vein of right atrium and oblique not the oblique here there for left ventricle this posterior the name is for posterior so we have small cardiac vein middle cardiac vein great cardiac vein oblique vein of left atrium and posterior vein of left ventricle okay keep in mind now you are told that is 40 percentage 60 percentage by what coronary sinus the other 40 percentage by what there is a vein known as this is posterior right anterior cardiac vein anterior cardiac vein what they are directly open into directly open into that is an MCQ which opens into directly opens into the right atrium anterior cardiac vein directly opens into right atrium all other tributaries they open into what first to what coronary sinus after that only they go to what right atrium but here anterior cardiac vein they are directly opening to the right atrium because that is an important MCQ okay now next thing you have to remember is the smallest cardiac vein we have studied the small cardiac vein right so there is one more vein known as smallest cardiac vein it's also known as what tabation vein smallest cardiac vein is also known as tabation vein see some mcq They used to give this also. This also opens into the directly opens to the right atrium. Actually, they open to all chambers of heart, all chambers, but mainly to what? Mainly to smallest cardiac vein or the vein. They may open to all chambers of heart. 
that is right atrium as well as right ventricle and from there again drained but it mainly opens toward the right atrium okay you have to remember because left part left part of heart is for what oxygenated blood so they open all chambers but mainly toward the right part mainly to the right part right part contain what the deoxygenated blood so the veins veins are collecting always the de deoxygenated blood so they must be collected to the right part and they can open to the whole chambers remember the smallest cardiac vein is also known as what the basian vein okay now there is an important mcq what are the structures open into the right atria okay what are the structures what are the vessels opening opening to right atria now you can say everything right you know first one is our superior vena cava as well as inferior vena cava now third one what is located there coronary sinus coronary sinus starts from heart they are having the diffuses then other thing what is directly open to right atrium anterior cardiac vein as well as what you have studied the last last thing is our smallest cardiac i told you it opens all chambers but mainly to the right part so you can include the vein vein or smallest cardiac vein this was an mcq smallest cardiac vein they also opens to what right atrium so superior vena cava open inferior vena cava open coronary sinus always already located in what right atrium and they are having tributaries and they collect the blood and they will open to the right atrium and the anterior cardiac the 40% of the blood in heart is drained by anterior cardiac vein and they directly open to the right atrium and the smallest cardiac vein okay so this is the blood supply of heart very very important okay so that's all about heart so we have studied the anatomy of heart